Welcome to the BAM Sports Show. All right, so here we go. Maybe I'm the weird one. It's 2022. We don't judge. You do no, I don't. Do. A fan of the show uh, had a shout out for you. You should just shut your mouth. You're coming off as stupid. Welcome to a brand new sports show experience coming through your wavelengths. Let's get ready to have some fun. So sit back, crack open a drink, and let's talk some sports. And let's talk some sports indeed. Welcome to the BAM Sports Show. I'm your host, Blake. I'm joined tonight with my boy down in Jacksonville. What up, Rick? What's up, man? Chilling. And that dude up in Chicago. What's up, Rob? What's up, fellas? How's it going, guys? Good. It goes. So I just realized the uh, header for the video definitely says week eight picks. Uh, so remind me to fire the guy that uh, schedules all of these. Yeah, probably like some pansy ass cheerleader or something like that whoa we will have none of that from you tonight mr rick horn i'm gonna put you in time out welcome back <laughs> anyways uh-huh. guys welcome to the bam sports show uh we're gonna go over week nine picks tonight uh but rick i see that you're rocking some uh some gear there yes sir the st louis battle hawks i don't know if you can get a good shot of that but the Battle Hawks are back, baby. I'm so yes, excited. They are. Yes, they are. I'm excited. The logo, you don't really care for it though, huh? No, the logo's fine. Uh I, I can tell they made some very subtle tweaks to it. Um, you know, and that's I guess the you know, kind of to be expected. They have to kind of make yeah. it their own. They're not gonna roll with you know the last cruise, um, you know, what they had going on. But so that was to be expected. The only thing I'm a little bit disappointed in. And I get like I get what they're trying to do, but the the font of, uh, you know, for for their name, like on on the font and stuff, they changed it to look more like, you know, like a stencil, like more military esque mm-hmm. or whatever. Yeah. Which I get it, but like I liked all the little subtle St. Louis Easter eggs, you know, that were there even in the font. What's cool about it though, with the way they, uh, you know, touched up the logo, it's uh, what's still cool about it when you turn it upside down, it still spells STL. You know, so that's yeah. there at least. Yeah, um, yeah. I I yeah. like the logo. I like the change. I like I, the, I like it the too. minor change. I think it you know really ties it back to the military, which is where they originally got battle hawks from. I know all of us idiots right. took it and made it a fucking bird. Um, yeah, but it it originally ties to you know I think what some fighter jets I believe is that correct? Yeah. So St. Louis has a very rich history with aviation. Um, you know, so it was kind of a means to harken back to that. Now, they used to like a, make a lot of planes, uh, you know, for the military were, were manufactured there in St. Louis back when Boeing was still headquartered there, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, uh, I could be wrong on that, but I, th- I want to say Boeing had something to do with it back in the day. Um, so, yeah, that part was cool. Like I said, I love I still love the logo. And I think that The Rock and his team were uh, very smart to listen to have listened to the fans like clearly. They, you could tell that they really like listen to the fans on this one. Um, a because the Battle Hawks are back, like they didn't change the name and really didn't mess. Like if you look at all of the teams that are still in this uh, same cities from yeah. the 2020 XFL, they messed with their logos a lot more than they did the Battle Hawks. Yeah, uh, agreed. I, I think that they they really listened to the fans on that, and I liked like whenever they did their big reveal video, you can hear Danny Garcia say like something to the effect and you know get ready to show them that caw is the law which is obviously like that is a fan thing that's not yeah yeah that wasn't from like the the people that ran the xfl back in 2020 like that's a fan thing and you hear anthony beck talking about him doing his best caca you know and cause the law and so they they really honed in and listened to the fans which i think is smart because st louis is already like showing out more than any other team on social media right now Right. Now, Rob, have you have you picked a team yet to, to kind of roll with? No, so me and Rick were talking about it. We were just talking about the logos and this stuff. And I was just, I mean, uh, I will eventually pick a team. Uh, I I kind of like the Brahmas, like for the Brahma Bulls. You yeah, know, like, for sure. You know, it, it, cool. it's, it's the rock. And, I you know, I, I think, like, I'm not really sold on the logo, but I, I still think it's pretty cool, man. Like, you know, like, you know what it means. So, like, I, right. I might have to rock with the Brahma. Brahmas. Well, as long as you don't poop in a urinal, 
Rob, we're okay with it. Uh, whatever team you roll with is, is fine the, with it. La Just Las Vegas company. Vipers? Is that what they are? The Ve yeah. Las Vegas Vipers. Vegas Vipers? And no. they call themselves the Snake Pit. Yeah, they shit in yeah. urinals, guys. So they do there in Vegas. <laughs> Hookers. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I didn't like Vipers for Vegas. I mean, I get it. You know, Vegas Vipers, like, it's cool how they did the logo with the, the double V and stuff like that. Like, it's cool. I, yeah, I thought that was pretty neat. It's weird, that, it's weird to me that, you know, they they have to use hand-free devices when they take shit because they, they're doing it in a urinal, you know, so... so. I will say, like... Can... Go ahead. I was going to say, as, as much banter as we like to have, you know, for just for some context for folks that, that don't know. Uh, back oh, in no. 2020... There's no context. There's, we don't need to provide context. Just Back know that 20... a Vegas Vi if, if you meet a Vegas Vipers fan, if you shake their hand, know that they shit in a urinal standing up. <laughs> no, walking through 20... the airport and you see them in a t-shirt. Go ahead, Rick. I'll stop cutting you off. <laughs> you're good. You're good. I was just going to say back in 2020, whenever they were still the Tampa Bay Vipers, for whatever reason, there was like a rivalry between the St. Louis Battlehawks fans and the Tampa Bay Vipers fans. And uh, I don't know where it originated from, but there was like a meme going around from Battle Hawks fans saying that Vipers fans poop standing up. So it's kind of where they, they did, you know, where they got that from. But I will say, like, to their credit, I think that the branding, the colors and the logo and everything and just the branding looks a lot better with Vegas than it did with Tampa Bay. That was, like, by far the worst logo and colors back in 2020. So it was like black and to green, them for that. right? Is there it was, a way like, that green we can, and green. Is there a way that oh, we can yeah. pop it up on the screen, all the logos? The current uh, logos, yeah. I sent the link to you in the chat there. I don't. Just, I don't just so know we if have... we could show those. To be honest with you, no, no. Okay. okay. Um. Just so, like, you enough. know, the people can see. Yeah. Let me hold on. Let me try this. Hmm. Let me try this real quick, my guy. But on the other hand, yeah, I, I was looking at the teams. Like, is there any like? I know you guys are like the the Vipers, obviously. But is there any one that like uh, it's like just dull? Like, eh, could have did better, you know, with the logo. I think like, so. One thing I'll harken back to, you know, and I mentioned this in the chat was the what used to be the Dallas Renegades, and now they're calling them the Arlington Renegades. They're playing yeah. in the same exact stadium that they're playing in. Uh, stadium I grew up, you know, watching baseball games at growing up. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the old Texas Rangers ballpark. But I remember being disappointed in their logo back in 2020 because that logo that they're using, I've literally seen that in like in like video games where you can create a team. Mm -hmm. So I just thought I was like, oh, that's kind of a cop out. Like that's lame. And they took that and made it even more bland. And just using that 2020 logo as their alternate logo, uh, I would say I'm disappointed in that one. And I'm a little disappointed in the Seattle Sea Dragon. I don't even know why they're calling themselves Sea Dragons. Dragons was fine. Um, their primary logo, which Blake's trying to pull up for you right now, to me it looks like something that you'd see at like an elementary school. Yeah, um, I, I think I think they could have did better with the dragon. But I will say, and it's not in that image that I just I said, don't. I don't like the Sea Dragon at yeah. all. But their their alternate logo is really cool. It's like a. Um, Oh hell, I don't know what you call it, but like think of like that thing that like King Neptune has, like that great big like Triton thing or whatever. Uh that spear looking thing that like King Neptune has, like going through like the letter S. That that one looks a lot cooler. I, I think that they should go with that. You know, you know but, who I like too? Houston Roughnecks. Uh, it kind of gives me like the whole like the Texans slash the Oilers vibe. You so know, that's like, another one. They they changed their logo because their primary logo back in 2020, they actually had the NFL like threatened legal action against them because they alleged that the you know, again, the 2020 logo, they alleged that it looked too much like the Houston Oilers logo. And to me, I could tell the difference just fine. Mm -hmm. Um, oh. you know, but whatever, fair enough. I, I but I do like that though they had to change it a little bit, you know, for, for those reasons, I thought that they oh. did a pretty good job this time around yeah. of kind of staying true to that, you know, while still staying in the good graces of the NFL. Yeah. I downloaded but, the wrong picture. Give me a second. You're good. Give me no, no seconds. I'm very excited. I think that, um, 
I knew that whenever I knew that the XFL was going to come back, and I I had no doubt, especially when The Rock bought it and his team. Uh, he has a great team around him, um, and I knew that St. Louis would absolutely be one of the cities. I, if I would have been shocked if if St. Louis didn't end up back, it's a no brainer to me. They were by far, in a way, the single strongest XFL market. Like, and it it, it wasn't even close. Uh, and obviously, all. obviously the fans love it too. I mean, you know, oh, yeah. it's, it, it's a big thing after losing the Rams. I mean, you still got a football team. Uh, it's a big thing to them. So, and I, I think, man, you know, I think the XFL did a good job by listening to St. Louis because it's a big thing out there for them. And congrats, yeah. man. That's awesome. Hey, Very we'll excited. Do this. I will do this. We'll do this. Bam. Did you get it? Bam. Bam! Right there. Nice. Yeah. So nice. these are the uh, the new 2020 logos. Mm-hmm. One thing that you'll notice up there in the top right hand corner, the Orlando Guardians. That was what used to be the New York Guardians, but I guess I, I didn't read too much into it. But I guess they weren't able to work out some type of uh, deal with the with the stadium there in New Jersey or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. So they moved that team down to Orlando. I kind of, I mean. I liked the the New York Guardians logo better, um, and I kind of wish if they were to if they were going to put a team down in Orlando, I kind of wish that they would have come up with a different name. It was like, eh, yeah, it, it doesn't really make sense, know. right? Because it's like if it's a bear, yeah. To me, it looks like a bear, right? To me, it looks like something you'd see on like an esports type thing. Tell us who you in the comments, guys. Who are you rolling with? What XFL team are you guys rolling with? Yeah, where do you see a trident, Rick Horn? No, no. So not not on not on uh not on that not on the the main logo there. But let me see oh, if I can pull okay. it up. Um, I'm gonna have to just send it to the chat because I don't think I, I have the link to it, but I have it saved on my phone. Um. But yeah, I mean, I like think they're... they did some cool stuff with them. Yeah. I don't know. I don't no. know. Oh, see, that that's cool. So, like, the whole, like, the fork, is that what you're talking about? Yeah, yeah. The fork with, like, the S go, it going through. Yeah, I, I, I do like, I like that. I tried it, yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah, that one was cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so... I do like I'm that. I'm very excited about the the Battle Hawks and you know again I harken back to whenever my brother and I went to the home opener. Thank you again, Blake. Oh, um, you would gosh. think that it that it was like an NFL playoff game in there. You know they only opened up ticket sales to the lower bowl there, but they easily could have packed that place to the gills. I remember seeing a bunch of people like pack Ballpark Village. You know. Uh, yeah. just, you know, fill that place up, you know, if they couldn't get tickets. And I remember that they were slated their next home game to go ahead and up, uh, open the upper decks of the, of the dome there. And they were projected to completely sell that place out. So again, you know, kudos to the XFL for listening to the fans there in St. Louis. Yeah, I'm pumped. I think, uh, I think they're doing a lot of good things with the league. So from one league to the other league, we'll go from the XFL to the NFL, uh, we did have a football game last night. Uh, the Eagles remain perfect. They pull off the 29-17 victory down there in Houston. While the baseball team did not get the win, the football team did for Philadelphia. Uh, Eagles kind of started slow, though, huh? Yeah, it, it was a close game, actually. Closer than what people would have thought. I mean, I think that the, the Texans, they hung in there. Which, you know, it's it was, it was a good game. I mean... Here's my thing on this, guys. Are, are you guys really sold on the Eagles? I So here's the thing. Right now, at this point, they're going to get everyone's best shot. Mm-hmm. Right? Like, as an Alabama fan, I see it every week. Like, teams that should have no business, you know, stepping into into the ring with us or yeah. with, with these teams, they're going to get everyone's best shot. Um I, I do think the Eagles are for real because I think they've got enough talent on that team that even when they start slow like they did last night, like that defense is stacked. Slay is a badass. You know, they just added Robert Quinn to that defensive line, which is already very good. You got to think last night Jordan Davis didn't play because he was injured. I mm-hmm. mean, 
you, you saw, right, that that interception, that right out of the half, that interception that Davis Mills threw, they turn around, what, very next play and throw a touchdown to Antonio, uh, you know, Antonio Brown or A.J. Brown? Like, I just think Jalen Hurts is going to have it, – it's going to come soon. Yeah, he's, he's doing really good right now, but I, there's going to be that game where, like, there's a team that's out, they have nothing to play for, and they're going to – they're gonna want to beat the shit out of the Eagles. That was Houston last night, though, right? Like, <sighs> you know, I mean, Houston always battles, man. But I, I don't think they're the team that was gonna upset them. I mean, I, I was just no. happy they kept it close. You know. Yeah, I mean, credit to Houston. They definitely, at least early on in the game, uh, you know, put up put up a fight. You know, made it look like, oh shit, you know, could this could this potentially be a trap game? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, but. No, I, I'm I'm pretty sold on the Eagles. I think that they're for real. I think that outside of maybe the 49ers, uh, the yeah. Eagles are the team to beat in the NFC right now. Yep. I, I, I agree with you. I think it goes the road goes through Philly, but I think San Francisco is a very close second, um, especially if they add uh, um, Keith is delusional. We're gonna go ahead and leave that on the screen, Keith. Just so, just so everyone can see it for a long time, that Keith is saying that the Packers are gonna whoop Philly's ass. <laughs> I don't see it, Keith. Uh, so moving on to Sunday's games, uh, they gotta the get past the Lions first. Uh, yeah. Packers, yeah, well, that's this weekend. So Coles Patriots there in uh, New England. Uh, who you got? The Patriots. I do have the Patriots also. Yeah, I just plus Jonathan Taylor's uh, uh, he's been ruled out today. So let me just if, was if he ruled out know, today? He was ruled Ooh. out today. Yeah. Ooh, so they train Hines, and then Hines is later. gone. Yeah. So yeah. they've got they've got uh Deion Jackson and Zach Moss. Which I mean, to Deion Jackson's credit, obviously we only got to see him start one game, but he did play well. Uh, that was only a small sample size, though, and I think you know. He doesn't have a veteran quarterback behind center. Like they're gonna, whoever it is, whichever running back is taking snaps, it's gonna be the Patriots are going to shut that shit down and basically force the Colts to uh, beat him through the air. You know, with that, he's not a rookie, but basically rookie quarterback. Yeah, I, I mean, and Jonathan Taylor being out is a game changer. So yeah, oh absolutely. I think if mm -hmm. Jonathan Taylor was in this game, I think you can give Indy kind of a chance, right? Like tough defense, maybe run the ball, but I just I, I don't think there's a. Which means we're probably all going to look fucking stupid on Sunday, and the Colts are probably going to win this game by three touchdowns. Yeah, because they they got they got Shaq Leonard back, didn't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's back. He's back. So okay. that'll be a tough one. Uh, by the way, it's only a six point spread on that game too. New England's laying six points. As of right wow. now, so wow. Interesting. Uh, yeah. Chargers the, uh... heading to Atlanta. Here's my upset. I like mm. the Atlanta Falcons. Is it really an game. upset though? You know what I? It, you know what? It, I mean, I no Keenan be... Allen, no my uh, Michael Williams. I mean, the, it's still uh, it might be an upset because the Falcons are home and they're not favorite. I mean, so the Chargers are laying three points. So I, I would consider it an upset because they're not favored. So, yeah, and I think I think that there's kind of maybe a little bit more brand recognition. As I know, they haven't been, they have not lived up to expectations this year. But I think that there's maybe some more name brand recognition. You know, your your quarterback for the Chargers is Justin Herbert, while Atlanta has Marcus Mariota. Yeah, you know, so. I get it. In that regard, yeah, I can see that it would be an upset. Um, I'm still going to take the Chargers in this one. Like, yeah, they're, they're without Mike Williams and Keenan Allen. Um, are, is Keenan Allen for sure 100% out? Yes. Okay. Okay. Either way, I, I still like the – Either Ian I still or like, Adam Schefter tweeted at one of the two. I don't know who. But oh, gotcha. Do. Okay. I still like the Chargers simply because uh, – Atlanta's defense is putrid, and they're, they're one – A.J. Terrell, they're like one good defensive piece, is out. They still have Josh Palmer, who, you know, he's coming back from concussion, but a few weeks ago, uh, they had just peppered the hell out of Josh Palmer with targets when he was, you know, outside – opposite of uh, Mike Williams, and he played really well. The Charger yeah. – excuse me, the Falcons are terrible at defending the pass. 
They've still got Gerald Everett. They've still got um, Austin Eckler. And there's really not a whole lot. Although, I mean, they, they've had flashes for sure, but there's not a whole lot on Atlanta's offensive side of the ball that scares me too much if I'm the Chargers. Yep. So, uh, yeah, give me the Chargers. Uh, I'm going Falcons here. I think they've. I think the Chargers are just too banged up. That offensive line is hurt. Uh, your boy's back, weapons, isn't he, uh, Blake? Huh? Uh, the, your boy's back this week, isn't he? Um, who's, who's my boy, Cordell? Cordell, yeah. And then there's that. And Mr. Patterson's back. Uh, well, and, you know, to your point, the Chargers can definitely be ran on. They are much better at defending the pass than they are the run. They're kind of a, a funnel defense. Like, yeah, Mar- I mean, Marcus Mariota is not great, but he's getting the job done. You know, the Falcons are – they're doing what it takes to win ball games. I mean, that's why they're in first. Yeah. You know, so uh, – He's not putting – but he's, he's not putting up big numbers is what I'm saying, but they're still winning ball games. Fuck, he was like number QB like two or three the other week. Uh, uh, let's, move, uh, let's move on. Let's move on. Move I'm on. not sorry. All right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, Packers heading to the kneecap biters there in Detroit. Packers at Lions. This one is actually pretty tough to call. Um, yeah, hold on, hold on. Keith is uh, is Lazard playing? Uh, that was literally going to be my next question. Is is there, Alan Lazard playing? There's so, no way Green Bay loses this game, right? <laughs> I mean, I said the same shit about the Jet game. I said the same shit about the Redskin game or the Commanders game. You know, though, like to Detroit's credit, it's kind of you know, it's like watching 2021. All over again. Yeah, here we have a Lions team that that fights Jeez, that you, every week. They were job. they were actually up over the Dolphins. I think they actually got up fourteen nothing over the Dolphins last week. I think he plays so, this week. He practiced. He says. Oh, uh, still questionable. Yeah, okay. I, yeah, yeah. I, I it says questionable, but it says they're giving him time and rest, and so he can be physically prepared to play against the Lions in Week Nine. I think so, if Lazard plays, I think it'd be a game time decision. Game. Swift yeah. is back, right? Yeah, but he's not 100% right now. Fuck. Neither is that defense. But uh, Jamal Williams has played fine. He, he's 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 been a serviceable back. I mean, here's the thing, right? We got Aaron Rodgers against the worst defense in the fucking league. True. And I'm a Bears but fan. But their offense hasn't been terrible. The Lions' offense hasn't been terrible. No, but the oh, Packers' yeah. strength is their defense. That's true. Yeah. So. <laughs> uh, if if we're picking up, I'm I'm taking the Packers this game. There's no way after that beating they took in the last couple of weeks, man. Aaron Rodgers, Aaron Jones, they get back on track, man. This is they're gonna put up some points yeah. this week. It, it will, will be a shootout, though. It will be a shootout. I will tell you that it's gonna be a what? high scoring game. What? Yeah, because uh, I, I, the Lions. All right, score. dude. We'll tolerate a lot of bullshit on this show. We're not. Well, no, no that I mean, not Rob, gonna, hold on. The Lions I, just lost fucking Hawkinson to Minnesota. That, but the, okay, okay the really Packers defense. Hawkinson that much. Yeah. Have you seen the Packers defense lately? Even against the commanders and stuff. But, They're giving up points. You know, Rob, Rob, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come to your defense here because to his point, you know, like I said earlier, they, they're kind of a fast starting team. I mean, as long as Amon Ross St. Brown is healthy. They have a shot. I mean, just like last year, they they fight. Like, they get into shootouts almost every game. I mean, just last week, they were up 14 to nothing over the Dolphins, you know, and end up in a shootout that the Dolphins won. So, I mean, there's some credence to be lent there. I, I still got the Packers winning this. Um, but I I think it's going to be one of two one of two extremes. Either it's going to be just a complete slodge fest or it's going to be um it's going to be a a, a shootout give me but jo- that, uh packers by 10 i like that easy packers by 10 don't ever fucking say the over under is 50 i think also say don't ever say i don't pick the packers i pick them most weeks they make me look stupid all the time uh bills heading to the jets yeah, that's an open and shut case. Yeah. 
Give me the Bills. Give me the Bills minus 11 and a half. I would take that all day. Mm-hmm. Same. I'd probably bills. take the Bills minus 15 and a half, to be honest with you. I'd probably take the Bills over pretty much anybody. Yeah, I'm I'm really eager to break in down or break down the the Bills Dolphins round two in Buffalo. Yeah, that'll be a fun one to, to that'll break be down. really fun to watch. Um Dolphins made some moves this week at the deadline, so they did. Mm-hmm. They did. Might be for real. Uh so we're unanimous on the Bills there. Uh Vikings head out to Washington for to buy the now for sale Washington Commanders. So crazy fact, real quick. Uh, did you guys see the Powerball is like going to be like one point eight billion or something? It's like, yeah. Did you know if you won that, you're still like four billion dollars short of buying the Commanders? Man, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Isn't that crazy to think about? Yeah. yeah. Anyways, uh, who you got? Rick, you want to start this off? By the way, sure. this game's at three point favored. Um, Minnesota's laying three points. Um, on the road. I'm going to go out on the limb here, and I think our good buddy Nick will appreciate this, but I'm going to take this as my upset pick. I'm going to uh, say right that I like the, it. Commanders, the Commanders win this one. Um, they look they look infinitely better with Taylor Heineke under center. Yeah, wasn't that they, weird? Like, just, I mean, it's night and day, and Terry McLaurin is actually getting targets like, he's, like he should. Mm-hmm. Terry McLaurin is a really good wide receiver. And the the defense looks like it's starting to kind of gel a little bit more. So, and I mean, you know, I, I get it. <laughs> Dude, this, goes back. To shoot out. <laughs> this goes back to the, <laughs> to the Packers-Lions game. Uh, to the uh, only shootout would be in the parking lot. Oh, yeah. They're in uh, – They are in Detroit. Yeah, in Detroit, yeah. So that that could yeah that could definitely be a thing. The they got that one maybe two was... uh, one two punch running working for him in uh, Washington. Uh, yeah, Robinson no, I, and Gibson. It's so weird because like I I really thought that once Brian Robinson was back and honestly like before you know before he unfortunately ended up getting shot, uh, everything pointed to. Antonio Gibson just being completely phased out of the offense, you know, just being yeah. relegated to special teams merely because he was under contract. Um, but it's almost as if like he he's actually securing a pretty decent like pass catching role out of the backfield with Brian Robinson, you know, kind of being the between the tackles guy. Yeah. So uh, it's, and it's, guys that don't. Don't forget if uh, if you missed this, uh, Ryan's not with us tonight. His twenty four hour game a thon for the extra life fundraisers beginning at one a.m. So make sure you guys pop over there and check that out tonight. Sorry, I just want to get that plug in there real quick. No, you're good. Uh, but yeah, I agree. It's it's weird, right? The Commanders look better without Carson Wentz, which is kind of what I think we all when they traded for him, we all kind of just like shrugged our shoulders, like it, huh? Yeah, like, I mean, well, I, okay. it didn't make sense, right? Um, and, I mean, Heineke isn't terrible. I mean, he's not a world beater by any means, but if if nothing else, that that guy fights his ass off every week. Yeah, it'll be. He's got heart. So my pick, <laughs> I'm gonna go Washington. Oh, also, um, whoa, we're all unanimous on Washington. Yeah, Fuck so. Minnesota. As much as you know, you guys raved about Heineke. I'm actually going to say Kirk Cousins has a bad game. Uh, I, I think this is the game where he throws like maybe two picks. Um, they're six and one. They're playing the four and four Commanders. It's going to be a away game. I think this is a perfect time for an upset. I like I like the Commanders at home. Oh, especially if this would have been a prime time game. Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Raiders, the Las Vegas Raiders, who apparently beat dog Raiders. shit this year, are heading down to see Rick, my guy down in Jacksonville there, who will be on the field holding the flag. Yep, that should be kind of fun. I'm going to be uh, in uniform there, uh, holding the flag. It should be good time. Looking forward to it. Do you um, stay for the game? Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah, we get tickets to the game and everything. The service Box members seats, do. Food, drink. I have no idea about any of that. I just know I get a free... I get to walk onto the field for a little bit. 
All uh, right, Jacksonville. Yeah. This man is so, a man of service to your country. <laughs> you do not give him free beer and as many hot dogs as he can. Is, if Rick Horn wants to put nine wieners in his mouth at the Jacksonville Jaguars game for free with some beer, I will not be, be putting any Jaguars wieners in my mouth. You don't have you don't need hot dogs at a football game? Oh, of course, but I Okay, so you might be the putting phrasing some wieners. Was a little bit weird. Well, <laughs> don't don't take my words and twist them, sir. You you know. Uh I don't know. I got Jacksonville here, I guess. They're both I, shit. I'm actually going Las Vegas on the road. I do. And it's it's Las well, Vegas. You were on the road last good. week and got shut out. I'm taking them this week. I think that this is going to be a really fun. I think this is going to be a lot more fun than, than people expect. I, I could very easily see it being a, a high scoring game. Both defenses are terrible. Um, both offenses have some pieces there. And I think that it, it'll it be fun to watch the Travis Etienne versus Josh Jacobs. Um, I think it should be interesting to see who kind of comes out on top in that one. But I say, give me the Jaguars. Give me the Jaguars. I, I think that this is a good spot for them. They they play well at times, uh, especially against pretty trash defenses. So they're at home. The, the fans there in Jacksonville are, are awesome. Um, yeah, give me the Jags. Wow. What a, why don't you just pat yourself on the back there? The fans down in Jacksonville are awesome. You are the fans mm-hmm. down in Jacksonville, my guy. <laughs> I'm not the only, I mean, I'm not the only person there. Oh, I'm, I would hope so. Anyway. Um, Derek Carr is the only quarterback in the history of football that gets the number one receiver in the league and gets worse. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't get it. Like you've got, you have fucking weapons. You have weapons. I think it's, I, I honestly think it's Josh McDaniel. Um, not super sold on him. Do we think we see him get fired? Oh yeah, I'd be shocked. How long, how long was he the head coach in in Denver? A year or two? He, yeah, he wasn't there long. It didn't take long for him to get fired. Was he there when Tebow went? They made the playoffs. Keep check on that year? for me. Uh, I well, thought well, who was, was the that, coach when Tebow was it Adam Gase or was he just offensive coordinator? Ooh, I don't know. I know Gase was there in some capacity that year. But I can't remember if Gase was the head coach or just the the OC. Yeah, I don't know. I got Jags in this game. Yeah, give me the Jags. Uh, Rick, you took Raiders, right? I took the Raiders. No, Rob took Raiders. I took the Jaguars. Yeah, sorry. That's what I meant. That's what I meant. My fault. My fault. Uh, The last noon game. Uh, Dolphins head to Chicago to play the Bears. Uh, only a four-point spread here. I think uh, I have a ahead, feeling. Um, I if, if I was a gambler, I would take the Dolphins at you know at ten because I think it's going to be a shit show. Hmm. I do I do Rob? I mean, I, we I, I, we made Dak Prescott look good. Let's just put it that way. We gave up 49 fucking points to the Dallas Cowboys. I think Tua has the ability to probably hang close to 100 points on us if he really wanted to. And so, uh, without Rokon Smith. Yeah. So here, yeah, here's that's what I was just gonna get to. So obviously the Bears, they sold. I, 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 they're working on the draft. Um, it's basically it's you know stay healthy, see what you got, and get by this year. Get to the draft. Get to the draft and get to free agency. Um, the Bears will still – it'll be a high-scoring game because the Bears will put up points, but their defense is so bad. Where I, The Dolphins, they win this game by at least, you know, I say at least 10. Yeah, hey guys, uh, fantasy locks out there, if you have Tua, Tyreek, or Waddle, play those motherfuckers. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. That, that shouldn't even have to be said. Um, I know, but we're yeah. going to say it on this show, so this way if it happens, we can clip it and post it. By the way, Keith Keith put Mike McCoy was the coach. Yeah, put mm. that on screen. Oh. Yep. Uh, okay. Give me the Dolphins. Rick, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or Rob, you said Dolphins too. Uh, mm-hmm. So only two late games. Uh, Seahawks head down to Arizona. 
to play the Call of Duty led Kyler Murray Cardinals. Ah, uh, this is you know I'm kind of in a little bit of a Danny type situation here, you know, because I don't want to be biased so much to my own team, uh, you know, but I also don't want to overdo it for the other team. But yeah, you know, when, I don't think when we played them a couple weeks ago, D Hop wasn't playing yet. Correct. Um, Correct. So that's that's what worries me. Uh, I like. I think that both our offense and defense, honestly, especially these last few weeks, it seems like the defense has just gotten better and better. Um, but there's nobody on my defense that I think can hang with with DeAndre Hopkins. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's that's a scary proposition. Um, ah, I don't know. Um, and they're playing in Arizona. Yep. Hmm. I'm going to say do, 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 uh, come back to me. Come back to me. Whoa, oh, whoa, no, no, no. We start with you. It's your team. You're rocking their fucking All shit. Right. You pick the team first. Ah, uh, okay. Give me Give me the Cardinals. Ooh. I hope I'm wrong. I hope I am wrong. Uh, this is a tough game, actually. Because um, every time I say a team that plays the Seahawks, they fucking shut my mouth. So, you're 5-3. and three. No one expected them to be there this way. Um, it is Call of Duty Murray. But I like the Cardinals at home this week. I do. I think I think DeAndre, Hop DeAndre Hopkins is a it's a he'll be a big time difference in this. So I do like the Cardinals at home. Uh I I fine. I'll fucking die on this hill alone. I'm going Seahawks. I think they're playing with a, a whole new energy. Pete Carroll's looking young, he's looking rejuvenized. Uh they're having fun. Kenneth Walker the third is running like a, a bat out of fucking hell. Um Gino has not fallen off that cliff yet. Now it, it could fucking happen at any moment. Gino's been playing very good football. If that continues, uh, I think Seattle goes down into Arizona and actually gets this win. I do. What's the spread? I, I have no idea. The only oh, the thing head coach was John Fox. That's right. Oh, okay. The only thing that kind of worries me is, you know, in addition to having DeAndre Hopkins back is that, the Cardinals blitz at one of the highest rates in the league, um, right. which has been a problem for us, which has been a problem for the Seahawks. Like uh, anytime, you know, and Gino has surprisingly been able to show that he has some wheels, you know, at, at, at certain points in, in games. Um, but we do not do well against the blitz and the Cardinals blitz at a very, very high rate. So I think take that in tandem with DeAndre Hopkins, it's scary. I hope I'm wrong. I hope that we sweep, that we get the sweep over the uh, the Cardinals. But Only if I'm a betting I man, say, I think that... Oh, shit. What? Oh, shit. What up? What is up, man, my guy? Man, man, look at the whole setup. What's I like it. going on? Can you guys hear me all right? Dude, you're oh, yeah. doing great. Great. Are uh, you getting all set up for the show? Yeah. Look at that, my dude. You got a whole fucking stage and everything. Not really a stage. It's just a table with a tablecloth. You look fucking huh. lit. You look. You look. Is legit. it you? Is it you and other people playing? Yeah, the same I got spot? other. I got other people coming. We're starting in uh, two hours. That's cool. Uh, so. I, Ryan, I need you to come to my house and figure out how to set up my shit just like that is set up because no. you. Yes, that is legit, yeah. dude. That looks so like, cool. I got like a mic and everything. Like, just I, I had a mic before, but now I have like an actual microphone. Yeah, so I just dude, like walk yeah. around. That is what I want right there. That setup in my basement. Cool. Thank you. Looks Appreciate sick, it. right? Oh, it does look good. It looks it's very good. Guys, don't work. forget. Don't forget, guys. Make sure you check out their stream tonight. Give to the Extra Life Foundation. Uh, it's a great foundation. Please, 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 don't forget. Appreciate you. Of course. Uh, what's, all right. So, what's going on in the sports world? Okay, so you're here real quick. Seahawks, Cardinals. 
Who you, who you taking? Chickens. Sea chickens. Yeah. See. Okay. Me and Ryan. That, are on I think it's kind of funny. This week we have the uh, the battle of the birds and the battle of the cats between the the Cardinals and and uh, Seahawks and then Panthers versus Bengals. Did I miss mm-hmm. that yeah. game? Oh, I did miss that game. Whoops. Yeah. Yeah, we did. We did that was a new game, game, isn't it? Yeah, it's a noon game. I don't know how I missed that. Uh, okay, so Panthers. In. Okay. Already. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Come on. Make him. Ryan says for every $500 they raise tonight, he will remove an article of clothing. I won't. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a lie. That's Danny, set down fast. Danny says, guys, we're posting that. Uh, it's on the screen right now. It's also in the comments. Guys, check it out. Please donate. And give to the kids we'll leave that on there for you ryan um but yeah 500 dollars articles of clothing coming off to strip tees do it live if i get two thousand dollars raised i will cut my hair off on stream with i thought he was gonna say scissors on the bam sports show i thought he was gonna say i will remove a sock <laughs> You guys Ryan, don't know you what look, I've got going you look on legit, under here. dude. Thanks. You look legit, bro. Yeah, that's I'm a pretty sick setup. Got, I've got other microphones. Yeah, dude. Like, okay, Rick has usually the coolest setup. Yeah. Ryan, I think, has just taken that crown. Yeah, no, I have to my, agree. My extra life setup. It's for the children. I've been lazy for like the past month. I've yet like I don't have my actual. I haven't like got my actual camera set up in like a couple months i've just been using my laptop oh, but no yeah. i need to i need to uh get back on my shit so i can hang with so i can hang with ryan yeah because he just woof ryan just, just, took that yeah. shit, just over. shit it all over you <laughs> yeah all right what's the next game uh carolina game? carolina at cincinnati carolina at cincinnati battle of the cats cincy i think they looked kind of garbage though without they- jamar yeah, I think they Cincinnati bounces back this week. Well, I want to I want to talk on that for a second. No Chuba. So it's That's true. No, ch- I no get Chubster. it. They don't they don't have they don't have Jamar Chase, which is obviously a huge piece of their offense. But I don't think that. Well, I think that maybe mistake. an equally as big part of that is that. Um. You know, when it started to look like they were their offensive line, you know, which has been a huge disappointment this year, was starting to gel together. They weren't playing teams with a great pass rush. I mean, look at the Falcons. The Falcons don't have a pass rush. True. And they dunked all over the Falcons. The Panthers have a decent pass rush. The Browns have a decent pass pass rush, too, which is why they looked so dookie last week. Right. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So I don't know if it's. I mean, losing Jamar T- Chase is definitely a huge loss for them. But I think that another big contributing factor is that their their offensive line is is terrible. Mm-hmm. Even though they spent all this money on on an offensive line this year. So Yeah, that's weird, right? I think that money on it got worse. <laughs> right. Uh, I'm Cincinnati here as well. I just, I think no Chuba. I mean, Freeman had a good game last week, but I just this I one go here. This one's super hard to to really nail one down, though. You know. Yeah. I yeah. I don't think the Chuba Hubbard's a, a huge contributing factor because I think even before he got hurt, I thought that Foreman should have been mm-hmm. the starter anyway. Because I remember last year how how good he looked. Uh, you know in place of Derrick Henry. And even before that, when he got drafted by the Texans, you know, before he got hurt there and they released him with an injury settlement, John to Foreman's actually a pretty damn good running back. Um, in spurts. You know. Yeah. So I don't, I don't think that I think that Tuba Hubbard is kind of inconsequential, but man, did you guys see that? Like that, that insane pass from uh PJ Walker to yes. DJ Moore. Yes. That was that's, crazy. That's why I think they have a chance. I think it was they, the farthest throw of the season. Yeah, that was like by far the like the best play of the season. That was that's what they would call in baseball easy gas. It was yeah. very surprising because it didn't look like he like hucked it and chucked it. It looked like he just threw a pass. 
Yeah, no, that that some bitch went all the way. It was yeah. uh it was beautiful. I'm gonna I'm gonna go Bengals here. I mean, I just I feel like talent rises to the top. There's more talent, and the Bengals have a, a solid defense as well. Um I think that, you know, like you said, Dante Foreman has kind of beat up on some bad defenses. Um but the Falcons. Um so yeah, I think that they still have enough talent on Cincy's side of the ball that they can they can pull this one off. That's pretty much where I'm at on it. I th- I can see a path for Carolina, but yeah. Robin Leo, who are you taking? We are taking the Bengals. Nice, Leo. Do you agree with that? We're taking the Bengals. Yeah. You okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Leo locked it right there. That's a Leo lock. This is a Leo lock. I love it. I love it. All right, Hashtag Rams. Leo lock. Rams heading down to Tampa Bay to play the newly, recently divorced single now Tom Brady and the Buccaneers. I think yeah, Tom goes man. off. He's got rid of the baggage. Hold Kick on. Giselle to the curb. See, this is another. This is like one of those games that I feel like on paper. This should have been one of the matchups that like we were looking most forward to all year right. long. But I feel like this game is going to kind of be a sludge a snoo- fest. A snoozer. Yeah, kind of kind of a Ooh. snoozer. I mean, that's like perfect nap time for me, so I'm good with that. Yeah. <laughs> all of these games are going to be perfect nap time for me. Well, I, yeah, 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 for like, you. Like we're starting our stream in two hours and i still need to get some sleep oh, Jesus, i guess man. give me the bucks in this one they're in tampa yeah oh, i'm <laughs> with you it's i give me the bucks but i don't like it yeah i don't say that with just an overwhelming amount of confidence who are we taking the rams or the bucks rams. the rams so oh. we are gonna go with the rams on the road um, Tom Brady and them just keep sliding down. Yeah. We're the Rams on the road. Rams on the road. Rams Pound on the it. road, huh? Man, I, I'd rather have oh. Leo on here than Rob. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> get, the get the youth vote. Uh, get the I got hashtag Leo here. Lock. Also, hey, what's up, Rob? I haven't seen you in forever on here. I know. How you been? <laughs> Uh, I got I got books. I think Fournette has a big game for them. Uh, I'm trying to Tampa. train him so when I'm not here, he'll, he'll oh, be yeah, my there you, go. there you go. Hey, I like it. I like <laughs> Solid it. Leo, Leo locks. Uh, Sunday night football. Titans head to Kansas City to play the Chiefs. Who are we taking? Titans or the Chiefs? What do we do in this house? Who is what? It? Titans. Titans up. We've taken the Titans. Man, that's a, don't Titans. go for that Leo lock. Give me yeah, the Chiefs that, that all Leo day. Lock, uh, I don't know yeah. if I agree with that one. <laughs> Sorry, Leo. Can't be right all the time. Yeah, I, I got the Chiefs. Uh, everybody's saying the Chiefs. Everybody's saying the Chiefs. Yep. Chiefs. Especially that's off right. a bye. I you're think doing, it's Chiefs you're, by you're, 100. You're, you're, doing the, you're doing the pick, so. That's what we're gonna roll um, with. And then um, no, Monday but night. What? That is gonna be a tough game, though. Um, I, I don't even know if uh, Tannehill is gonna be playing. Uh, I know he's up in the air. And if Ma- Malik Willis is playing, it's gonna be a long game, and it's definitely on a prime time Derek again. Henry. It's gonna be it might be like just me watching it against the Bills again. I'd probably <laughs> rather not watch it. So yeah. As, think... uh, uh, go ahead. I'm sorry, go ahead. No, no, I'm sorry. I'm, I interrupted you. No, I'm just saying, like, I, I just had him pick. So, I mean, I, I was like, uh, uh, I just hope they keep it close. Uh, you know, them after a bye, it's, it's going to be tough. Leo's going to go 3 0 this weekend. I, I think that I'll be shocked that Ryan Tannehill gives you maybe a puncher's chance. But even then, like, I don't, I, I, I don't see it happening. Uh, but if, if Malik Willis is playing, like, Derrick Henry was already probably going to get the ball 30 times. Uh, but if if Malik Willis is playing, he, he's going to get the ball probably closer to like 35, 40 carries. <laughs> oh, go ahead and read Ooh. that one, Blake. 
Uh, so Shannon Horn, uh, Mr. Rick's brother, says, what are y'all going to have to do? Drink if slash win. Leo wins this one. Ooh. Ooh. I like that. That's I don't, uh... he's, not, he's, he's not my son. I don't claim uh, ownership. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll tell you what. Put a uh, put put suggestions down in the comments section. Well, if Leo it's... goes three for three, and if, if Leo if the uh, Titans beat the Chiefs, what should uh, what should the rest of us drink? <laughs> uh, little man's quarterback I... is better than where are Ryan? <laughs> If Eagles. if he goes if he goes three for three on his picks, I'll go buy another tonic at the dispensary. Oh, <laughs> I tell you what, see, man, we might have to bring you on the show more should, often. Uh, do a, do a shot of uh, Jepson's Malort. Oof! Oh, absolutely not. That, I'm that's not rough. Doing that. That I was gonna say rough. that's that's South Side drink right there. It is. It is. Every oh. opening day, that's that's a drink right there from. That's nasty. Uh, we got to re- speed this up. It's starting to rain here. My Wi-Fi is going to start getting real spotty real fast. Right. Okay. Uh, Ravens and Saints on Monday night in Saints New Orleans. Saints. Got the voodoo Ravens magic? Give me the Ravens. Oh. I'll go Ravens as well. We are taking th- the Saints. I think Lamar, Lamar can do it. I, I just think like it- – What's his name? Mark Andrews being questionable, if not possibly doubtful. They got uh, Isaiah no... Likely though. They True, do. but also no, no Rashad Bateman. Quite possibly no Gus Edwards. Um. Yeah, I don't know. And the Saints have a pretty decent defense. I, I, I and they're in New Orleans. Give me the Saints. Look at this. It's like Kids Day. I, I like. Oh, it. what is this? What? Hello. Hey, hello, hello, everybody. This is Noah. Hi, Noah. Noah. Hi, Noah. Noah. We're talking sports. Who do you think? Who do you think? Is it going to be uh, the Ravens or the Saints on uh, Monday night? Uh, I don't know. Which one do you think? Um, Can you guys hear him okay? Oh, yeah. yeah. Pick a team. Ravens. Or Saints. 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 Okay. Yeah. We uh, might we might actually have a Noah and Leo's picks. There we go. That's good. I like yeah, that. That might be it might be an yeah. idea. They they both picked the Saints. I'll see if might I can wake up my idea. deaf dog and get him on here and uh... <laughs> I'll go get Lucy. We got another microphone. We're good. <laughs> see, I'm saying when Rick comes to town, if I have that set up, Ryan. You guys Saying, just gotta come look. up to Springfield. I'll just keep the setup here. Well, yeah, I'm down. Shit. We might have to do that. We might have to do that. Try to make it work. Uh, any? So we got some big college games tomorrow. We'll touch on that real quick before we get out of here. We got one and three Tennessee and Georgia. They're in Georgia, and you got six and ten Alabama at LSU. Is Tennessee far away from here? Yes, Tennessee uh, is far away from here. <laughs> very. Give me Georgia minus nine. Oh, give me the line. I minus 16. Yeah, I like that. I-L-L-I-N-I. Utah minus 18. Those are my three locks for tomorrow. Minus 18. Yep. All right. Say bye to everybody, Noah. Bye-bye. Bye, bye Noah. Bye, Noah. Bye. All right, go to bed. Love you. Uh, my only lock is Navy 250 rushing yards or more at Cincinnati tomorrow. Go Navy. My only one is defense. Illinois. That's all I got. I am on the line I train this week. Everybody needs to be. Hmm. So. Oh, someone... yeah, that's true. That's fair. That's fair. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Ooh, we also. Point. Monday. We got college basketball starting up, boys. Oh, we do. Yeah, we can start touching on that. Yep. on that. Cool. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to wrap this up because uh, it's starting to get really laggy on me. We'll be back on Tuesday. Guys, please don't forget. Please, please, please don't forget to check out Ryan's stream this evening. I'm going to lay in bed and watch him play some video games. Yes, we're playing all day, 1 a.m. to 1 a.m. 
Um, and then Tuesday will be my last show on this show with a fully functional right arm for a while. <laughs> so pity, give me pity donations. Yeah, I guys, pity the remember. Fool. Remember, five hundred dollars. Every time he hits a five hundred dollar donation, he's taking an article of clothing off. On this show, starting oh, wow. with my underwear. I am here <laughs> for it. I am here for it. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'll do it. Oh my lord! All right, guys. Uh, All right. Leo, we'll see you on Tuesday, my guy. Bye, see Leo. Bye. 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 B